Well, good evening, folks. Welcome back to Good Things for Good People, the little tiny YouTube channel with great big dreams, changing the world for good, one view, one viewer at a time. Today is Sunday, and it is a balmy 10 degrees outside, which is a nice winter day here in Ohio. Uh, finally decided to set in winter here, so I'm actually rather excited about that. However, today I am actually on my way down to East Tennessee, and I'm going to be racing a little bit of a uh, snow and ice storm to get down there as quick as I can. Uh, because my father is coming up out of sedation. He's in the hospital. For those of you who have been paying attention um, are aware that he's been in the hospital. But uh, he's, had, he's got pneumonia and uh, some other complications. So um, they are bringing him up out of sedation right now and probably going to be removing his breathing tube tomorrow so that he could hopefully um, be able to communicate again. And I would like to be here for... Uh, when he comes up and wakes up and so he sees a friendly face there. So I'm going to head myself down to East Tennessee. But before I did, I wanted to say hi to all of you and say, hey, I appreciate everybody who's been supportive and who's reached out, uh, who's made comments and sent me text messages about um, well wishes for my father. I do truly appreciate that. Uh, it is a trying time. Um, you know, it's unfortunately that's part of life is you're not always healthy. You're not always in a good situation. And, um, you know, it is what it is. That's where we are in this, at this point in life. But uh, all signs are pointing towards positive at this point in time. He's going to have a long road ahead of him. There's, there's no doubt about that. He's got a lot of recovery to do uh, once he does make it out of the hospital, once the pneumonia stuff is over with. So uh, this is, this is going to be a long saga, unfortunately. But um, <clears throat> enough of that. What I truly did want to talk about is I was actually watching a program earlier today um, while I was doing my laundry before I got out of the at the house, and uh, <clears throat> I, I heard a phrase that I had never heard before, uh, is a Stanley Tucci uh, program where he is touring Italy, and he made a comment about the he with the police chief went and bought a coffee, and the police chief bought three coffees, but there were only two of them. Well, he bought two of them to go, and one suspended. And I'd never heard of that before, and neither had Stanley Tucci at that point. And it actually ended up being a pretty amazing thing where people who are of that world will buy what they need, and then they will prepay for somebody else who is in need to get one as well. So if somebody who is not of the means to be able to get their own coffee or their own toy or their own sandwich or their whatever, uh, pre people are prepaying at these restaurants and these cafes and diners and even toy stores um, for somebody else who comes along behind them that is not necessarily of the ability to pay for that. And I thought that was one of the most simple and beautiful things I've heard in a long, long time. And it really goes to show that there's a lot of people that are really good people out there. You know, there's a lot of ways that you can impact somebody that are out of what you would normally think about. I mean, yeah, you can go do charity work or you can donate cash to a, a charity or whatever, but there's all kinds of different little ways you can do things. And I'd never heard of that suspended thing, but I kind of love the idea. Um, for those of us who go out to eat quite a lot or even through a drive through one of the neat ways you can do that is you can pay for the person behind you. Um, that way when they get up to the window, they don't have to worry about their bill. And, you know... Some of that does have to come with the fact that you may have to have the money to be able to make those things happen. And uh, not all of us are in the, in the situation to be able to do that. But I thought it was a beautiful thing. I thought it was a great idea. Um, it's something that I'm going to try to probably incorporate over the next couple of days into my life and my lifestyle and uh, the ways that I can give back and help improve the world around me. So um, just an interesting thing that I saw that, you know, uh, something you learn when you're, when you're out and about in the, in the other parts of the world is what other people do to take care of each other. So. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome to Good Things for Good People. This is a, a small YouTube project, building a community of like-minded, positive, uh, energetic, charitable, good people uh, who would like to see the world become a better place, who are interested in spending a little time here every now and then, uh, donating their time to be able to watch a video, to be able to generate revenue for the channel that we can use to be able to do Good things for good people. That's all there is to it. YouTube already has the whole process in store for us. It's already built. It's ready to go. All you got to do is just click on a video, spend a little bit of time here, watch, maybe listen, not, not even necessarily watch. Just spend your time here. Let the ads run, and that generates revenue for the channel. 
the revenue that we get from the channel we can then directly use for doing good things for good people. We are still in the process of getting this channel monetized. Uh, we are just shy of halfway there. We are uh, just over 710 subscribers, I believe, as I saw just a little bit ago. And we are about uh, 1,800 uh, watch hours, and we need to get to 4,000 watch hours to get the channel monetized. So we are we're ha almost halfway there. We're not quite halfway there, but we're almost there. Um, but it's a project that I think has a lot of people motivated. I think there's a lot of people that are interested in being able to improve the world around you, even though you may not necessarily have the means to be able to do it. You may not be able to go out there and donate your time um, to a charity or to be able to do um, you know, large philanthropic giving. You may not be in a situation where you can do a lot of the things that most people would typically think of, but you may be able to spend 10 or 15 minutes watching a video every now and then. And every minute you spend watching these videos helps. It all helps. So um, I'm not going to talk real long today. This is going to be a quick one because I've got a six and a half hour drive ahead of me. And uh, it's, like I said, a little chilly outside. I'm starting to lose feeling in my hands already. Um, but I just want to say thank you guys for everybody that's been, uh, that's been sending me well wishes. Those who are friends, those who are family, and those who are a little of both. Uh, I got to also have lunch with my friend Paul yesterday. It was nice. He came into town. Uh, and I took him to my favorite uh, meat palace, and we, we'd had a we had a really wonderful lunch. So, um, you know, one of the <clears throat> one of the nice things that um, I am blessed with is the fact that I have a lot of people that I call friends, but are really truly family. I don't have a lot of close family. I, I just don't. I wasn't I wasn't blessed in that way. Um, I don't have brothers. I don't have sisters. I don't have anybody else. You know, cousins wise that I see on a, on a even reasonable basis, but I do have a lot of really great people that I, that are family, that are, that are adopted family that I've chosen to surround myself with, um, that are very supportive and kind and loving and giving people. Um, and several of them even told me that they love me lately. So thank you very much. Um, you know, it's the people that you choose to surround yourself with that really make the biggest impact in your life. Uh, if you don't happen to be that person that's gifted with a large biological family. So thank you very much to all of you guys who have who've, uh, talked and, and given me your well wishes. And uh, I, I truly do appreciate that. You guys are amazing. So thank you very much. Uh, I've got a long drive ahead of me. I'm going to get this uploaded so you guys can watch this while I drive. Otherwise, I will see you uh, tomorrow from East Tennessee up in the mountains of uh, East Tennessee. And uh, I'm not sure what tomorrow holds for me, but I'll share it as I can. Thank you very much for being here. I truly do appreciate you. Have a great rest of your Sunday. And uh, if I don't see you first thing in the morning Monday, have a great Monday morning. Take care. Bye-bye.